Jelly mold, lovely. Oh, is it really Jelly right. Oblomon. Oh, you could, oh, you could do pineapple upside down, Jake. Oh, there's more over there. Come on. <laughs> they're actually used, I realise until I googled them up, they're actually used for trainee hairdressers. The little ones? The little ones, yeah, the I'll dolly's for, heads. I guess for, for children, right? For, um, if you go to college and things yeah, to no, practice, yeah. wow. and you can get different wigs to put on them and things. And <laughs> She's just, uh, hang on, how creepy. Uh, just kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm just, oh look I have him. Can I start a pile somewhere? Sorry. Can I just start a little pile? Yeah, start a little pile and uh, I'll do you a deal. Thank you. Sorry? Yeah, everything. Just the uh, satin glasses. Oh, little okay. one. Okay. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't be back here. It's got stuff over here. Okay, I'm trying to... this cat in my hand. That's a good stuff. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got some good stuff, y'all. We got some good stuff. Okay. Oh, and it took a bit behind it. So. Two pound Miller. No, no. 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 <laughs> Don't let him. He's Scottish. Y'all watch it. Okay, guys. I hope you liked the shopping trip to the car boot sale. It was the first one of the year. And it was so fun and exciting and people-y. Yes, there was lots of people there. And I really can't blame them because... Uh, we have been locked down for uh, ever. So, you know, we were glad to be free. Free! We were free. So, I'm going to go through a little haul today. It'll be a two-part haul because I got quite a few things at the car boot sale. Not a crazy amount, but I did get some items which I'm going to have to break up into two videos. So, this is part one of the video. Let's start off with some uh, earthenware. 
So we're going to start off with Shelly Pottery, or Shelly also made Bone China. And they were, look at that, so that's pretty. They uh, have been around for, well, they were around for a very long time, uh, from 1903, but even prior to 1903, they were developing uh, Bone China and Pottery. Uh, this piece is a planter. It has no chips, no cracks, no crazing. It's in very good condition. It's got a lovely blue on it. Now, a little bit about Shelly uh, Pottery and Bone China. They made earthenware like this until about, I mean, based on my research, the late 1940s or 50s. The late, late 1940s, early 1950s, sorry. Clarify that. And this was probably from that era, based on the stamp, based on just what I've looked up, and the, this was part of that collection. Now, for a very long time, Shelly Pottery uh, had and Bone China had no competition. There was no other makers that were making items quite like this until the 1950s when they started to get competition from midwinter potteries and pool potteries. Speaking of pool pottery, I do have one. I do have a piece of pool pottery. I'm gonna show you that now. It is this dolphin, isn't it pretty? The colors are really great on it. Uh, I just think it's, such a nice decorative piece and and there you can find a lot of pool pottery here in uh the uk because it was made here um and i'll show you the little bottom if you can see that it's right there on the bottom i am here by myself today because dave went down south and to see his family and his kids and his grandkids and i'm here by myself so if this video is a pants, it's Dave's fault. No, just kidding. <laughs> Where's my assistant? I have to get stuff myself. What? So that's why this video may be a little wonky because my uh, assistant is not here to help me. <laughs> yeah, I did allow him to go out. Yes. So this little decorative piece is really nice. I really do like it. I think it just looks so good in your display. You know, if, or if this was the color of your decor that'd be so pretty so that was another piece i got a little dolphin pool pottery the next thing i got was this now this i don't know how old this is i don't know where she came from anything about her but this this perfume bottle which has the stopper the stopper is actually a good condition usually there's well there's a little tiny nick on it but usually there's you know because you're using it you put take putting it in taking it out putting it in over and over so and it looks like it has like a grecian style on the lid i don't know when it's from it has no maker's mark on it uh i haven't really looked it up it's just such a pretty piece it's kind of like that depression glass color the orangey pink color that a lot of depression glass is in i do like it though i just i really thought it was so sweet on, ooh, on a dressing table oh that'd be so pretty I do like it. It's just, oh, I do like it. It's, I don't know what I saw. I guess it was, I was outside. The sun was hitting it. I just was drawn to it. So this is a really fun piece. I do like that. That was one of the, it's clean inside. Don't smell like nothing. That's good. It's always a bonus when it, there's no smell to it. So there's that. Then I got this little, oh, I love this. This sugar shaker. And it's like a seafoam green luster, but it's a modeled type of glaze on it. Let's see that. And it's got um, a metal lid, and it's a uh, it's it is marked, but it's electro plated nickel silver, so it's not like silver silver. And it does come off, and it's clean inside, which is always fun as a bonus. I don't know if I would use this for the act for actually using it for sugar, but I think I would have it as a decorative piece. And it's marked on the bottom, Dixonian, England. So let me see if I can show you that better. So that was another great piece. Oh, I just love this. I just, ooh, in your kitchen, just on a little shelf, that'd be so pretty. And the colors, if you, I can see with my window open, well, not open, but the blinds open and the sun shining through, it gives me like an oil slick rainbow effect on it. It's so pretty. I just. Just love it. So that was another piece I got. Now, this little set here I got when I saw Mama Kitty and Baby Kitty. I was very happy. 
You know I was. And I assume they go together. They look like they do. Uh, although this one doesn't have a label, the smaller kitten does. It says Cooper Craft Made in England, and I'll show you that. These, uh, Cooper Craft made a lot of uh, little figurines. A lot of them are animals. Uh, I've seen the dogs and the cats mainly. Um, here, let me see if I get closer with the sticker. <laughs> Sorry. So that's uh, the little set of cats I, I got. I think they both have blue eyes, and they're like, I guess they're, are they Siamese? I should know. <clears throat> Excuse me, I should know my cat breeds, but my cats are just moggies, so they whatever breed you want them to be. So I don't really have any fancy cats. <laughs> oh, they think they're fancy, but they're not. So I think they're Siamese. Yeah, Siamese cats. I just think they're lovely. Uh, he had them set out there, and well, he didn't have them together. This cat was over here, and Mama Cat were way over there, and I was like, I'm sure they go together. Well, they're gonna now. They're gonna go together. They're just put you together. You're family now. Celebrate. So I got these two, and I was very happy about those cats. Oh, they're so cute. And there's no, there's no maker's marks on the bottom. It's just the one label on this small cat. So the next thing I got was, oh, was this. This little bitty, I love a good honey pot. Y'all cannot pass them up at all. If I see one, I snatch it up. And it's a smaller one. And um, it's got the bee on here. And on the lid, it's got the little bees on the lid. I'll show you that. There's no chips or cracks on here at all. And it does have a maker's mark. It says Western Germany. I feel like that's Goebel, that mark. I don't know. If you can see it and you think it is, put it in the comments. Let me know. I have to do some research on it. It's got a mold number. Uh, it didn't come with a spoon, and that's okay because you know why? She gets her own spoons. I Every time I go out, I look for little spoons. Why? Because I'm, sometimes the jam jars don't have spoons, and that's just life. That's just one of those things you have to live with. So I put a little spoon with it. Uh, I don't have to put a spoon with it. Sometimes I, if I don't have a spoon that'll fit it, I'll leave the spoon out. Uh, I mean, if it comes with a spoon, of course, I'm going to include it. But sometimes it doesn't, and I don't think it detracts from it, but I will hunt for spoons. Oh, I love hunting spoons. I'll be ooh, looking for spoons all over. So that was this little honey pot I got. I really like it. It's, and it's such a pretty summery color, the yellow. Uh, and that is one of Pantone's color of the year. Yellow, I'm just saying. So the last thing I got in this haul is this. I just love, oh, look at that. It's like blue milk glass with a metal tray that it sits in or a metal holder. And the lid has, it looks like Lucite to me. I, I can't tell you 100% that it is Lucite, but based on the age it looks, I imagine it is Lucite. And I'll show you the, the top's a little, oh, steady girl. The top's a little, dirty a little scratchy not really scratchy just a little bit it was a little scratchy yeah but and that's the lid that's the top of the lid and uh this is the glass part of it and i'll show you that again it doesn't have a maker's mark on it i just i loved it i just loved the color i was like oh my god this blue and i'm more of a green person i'm not really a blue person but you see a color and you're like, mm hmm Now, it does not come with a spoon. It has no place for a spoon, so I assume it's a sugar bowl. Uh, if I have a spoon that will fit it, I will put it in when I sell it. I haven't checked it. I do have spoons. I just got to make sure it, it it sits nicely in this little part here. Uh, if I have a spoon that fits it, I'll, I'll put it in there. I'll chuck the spoon in and say, here you go. And I will state that. The spoon is not original. I always tell her, you know, if I put a spoon, I was like, this is not the original spoon, but you are getting a spoon because I'm nice like that. <laughs> Just kidding. So this was one of the, this was another thing I got. So that's my haul, y'all, for today. There will be a part two to this because I do get some more stuff, but you already saw the shop with me. I didn't want to make this too long and we're here, you know, until tomorrow. And, you know, people got busy lives. They got things to do. I appreciate that. For Dolo Digs, we're going to talk about a channel that I enjoy watching. A lot of these things, you, do you watch all these channels, Dolores? Y yes, I do. I do. I, I mean, I will find time to watch everyone's channels. May not be right away, but I will find time. 
So today's Dolo Digs is Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. Now, you want to talk about someone who know records? Oh, she know records. Mm, she does. She collects them. She has an extensive collection. And guess what else she collects? Brooches. Yeah, she collects brooches too. And so that's right. That reason right there. I love her. I love you, Katie. She also has Shop With Me's. She does live sales now. And you need to go check those out. You go subscribe to her channel. It'll be across here somewhere. I'll also link her channel in my description. Go check out her channel. Subscribe to her channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when she's going to go live and have a live sale or do a live shop with me. Also, one of my favorite parts is that she does, she'll read on uh, live on her channel, saucy books from the 1950s. Now, you think, how saucy can they be? Oh, they're saucy. I didn't think these things were occurring in 1950. Who knew? Uh, they're very fun and entertaining, and she reads them to you, and you just and then you sit in the chat, and you talk to everybody, and it's just an enjoyable time. So that's Katie with Vintage and Vinyl. Please go check out her channel, and I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to mine, which, why wouldn't you? It is subscribe to me, hit the notification bell, uh, hit the like, comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. I know you're thinking my favorite's going to be the cats. And I do like the cats. She do. But actually, my favorite thing out of this was this. I just, something about it drew me in. I can't tell you what it was, but it just spoke to me. And I just thought it was so pretty and so feminine, like me. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye.